All right, and we're back, and there's been another update since I last played, and once again, I have my engines, but my cars are gone. <laughs> and it sucks, because what I was going to do was delete all the engines and start from scratch, and we're still going to do that, but we also have to remake a car, and I'm not sure why it's doing that. Um, the update added more ways for the car to be rated, like based on safety or comfort, and um. A uh, test track was added, but I don't know, man. All my cars are gone. So let's just, uh, so we got here. Moving them. Bam. They added some more car bodies, too, it said. But we are going to make a car. What? Is... That's cool. <laughs> um let's see what car where was that uh ch -ch -ch -ch. All right, look at that I like that we're gonna make something out of this and hopefully when we save it it won't go away quality too okay <laughs> Alright, we're going to slap this together because one of the reasons I wanted to nuke the engines to start over is, you know, we were trying to make the engines and then they would never fit in the car. But apparently if you start with your car body first and then go to choose an engine, it gives you a little box where the engine sits and shows you how big you can build. Which is pretty neat. I didn't even change the dimensions of the car. That's alright, I kind of like how that looks already. We'll start with that. I wish this game had pop-up headlights. Pop-up headlights would be perfect on this car. I guess we're just gonna go... These seem a little too new for a car like this, but... It'll probably get deleted in the next update anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, well, that's not too bad, actually. I like that. And, uh... I don't know, do we want any little vents on the front? Let's see. Let's start with something like this. And we'll just make them kind of like taller. And we will. Give me this one. Put it on the side, maybe. Eh. Eh. There we go. We'll just stick with that. Then we'll put a little grill. I am thinking something like this down here. Then maybe a little one. Let's put that up here. Then we need where's the uh I haven't played in a while, so I'm a little <laughs> uh gotta try to remember where everything is. is that there starting like a car. I don't think we're gonna do any fog lights on this one. Keep the front kind of simple. Maybe a, uh, maybe a tiny little, no, I don't know. I don't think this is going to go. I don't think this is going to do it. Or maybe something tiny. Whatever, we'll go with that. Yeah, not too bad. No fog lights. Put some door handles. This car is so 80s. I really like it. Door handle, boom. Yeah, it's fine. And I don't think we're going to put any 
vents on the side here. Tail lights. Um, yeah, we'll go with these. Yeah. Also decided we're not going to go completely high-end anymore. We're just going to make whatever kind of car we want to make. And people will buy them. I still like this ornament, though. It doesn't really fit this car. <laughs> but I don't care. I like it. Yeah. And exhaust. I'm just going to do regular dual tip. Sure. Uh, we want a little lip on the front. Of course we do. Yeah, looking good. And I still... <laughs> We gotta see what the wing looks like. Keeping it. Alright. But anyway, what I was looking for was the little indentations for the... Oh, here it is. For the license plate. I thought there was one that was just all squared, like more squared off, but can't be bothered looking for it. There we go. We'll start with this and see if that engine thing works and then try to save it. Platform name. Um, yeah. Panty Dropper 2000. And I think I have to save to revision one save. And then it will be in the car list. Yep, okay, I saved both. So that's good. Um, so we'll go ahead and get rid of that one. Or not. Okay, so now what we need. So that's our platform. Oh, that's what we, I was clicking the wrong thing. There. Model. Uh, rear wheel drive. Now, if we choose an engine, hit new engine. Okay, I guess this is the uh, the area where you can build it. So we're going to do a V8 aluminum. And, yeah. It does work. Okay. That is definitely what we want. And... Maybe that's something they fixed. Okay, we're gonna do like a five liter. See if we can stuff this in there. Hopefully they're not getting too big with this thing. Fairly aggressive. Okay. Still fits. Blue for production. And we might be able to turbo this thing. Um, let's do medium. Getting there. Yes, definitely want fuel injected. Still fits. It's good. Okay. Premium.
I don't know what this thing's gonna rev to. And also, I have to drop the compression. I don't know. Okay. Well, it fits. I think yellow still means it fits. Let's see how messed up it is. Let's see if everything holds together. Oh. Compression. <laughs> I knew that was going to have to come down. Okay. Oh, it's still too high. Compression's still too high. We'll just up the quality. Up the quality of our turbos. Let's go to 10. No, we're not. We're going to go to 5. Whoops. Uh, let's see how much power we're making. Not bad. That's a nasty looking torque curve. Nasty looking horsepower curve. So, I don't know. I'll probably just shove this in the car and try out that test track thing if we can find it. <laughs> I don't know where that is. Um,. We're going to go ahead and save that, so it should be... Yes. Okay. Be manual. That's my mile per hour speed. We're just going to set to that. Okay. So I'm worried all this stuff is going to be. Oh, sorry. Okay. I'm worried all this stuff's going to disappear again after the next update. So I don't want to. Go too crazy with it. Is it putting an under tray on there? It's got none. It really did add a lot, though. A premium. Premium. We do want power steering. Yeah, we want to get all that. Safety, advanced. Okay. Now testing. All right, here we go. So detail stats, what is this? Okay. All right, it's pretty safe. Liking it so far. Test track, this is what we want to see, okay. Uh, start. There she goes, look at that. This is pretty neat. And you can download tracks that other people have made too. You can make your own custom tracks. But I haven't done that yet. Like I said, I'm just getting into this whole thing. <laughs> I like how they have names for all the corners and stuff and the straights. And being the first car on this track, I don't know what a good time is. So far my gearing doesn't seem to be that great for this. Hopefully I do something nice on this straight. Oh, we should be good. 
This is in kilometers. I'm not sure why. We gotta go! It's pretty fast. Whatever 280 is. Whatever 280 is in real measurements. Seeing a live timing anywhere though. Long track though, 4.8 miles? Or is that, oh, okay, never mind. 4,800 meters. However long that is. <laughs> this driver is not very aggressive. So let's see, we got some stats on here. I guess 18.6 miles per gallon. I'm guessing that's very aggressive driving. 5.7 seconds, 0 to 62 time. It's not really, I mean, that could be better, but it's not, it's not too bad. I blame that on the driver, though. I think it could be a lot faster than that. It's a 13 second car at 123 miles per hour. I mean, that's really, that's not bad, but car weighs almost 3,000 pounds. So, okay, it didn't give me a time. I guess you have to time it yourself. <laughs> uh, but that's still, that's still pretty neat. Maybe that's something they're working on. Oh, they got, oh. Check it out. They got the Top Gear track. The corners aren't named right. It's obviously not licensed. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. They have the Top Gear track on there. I don't have any custom tracks. Oh, that's how you... Okay, I didn't even click any of these. Alright. Like I said, I don't know if these times are any good or not. Because this is the only car we've run on this track. Alright, well that's pretty neat. Um... Uh... I'll definitely come back to that and compare all my cars. I don't know if it has like a database for anything. And now, so I didn't go too in depth on this because I don't know if it's ever just going to get um, deleted in the next update like all the other cars. But yeah, that's it. Okay, so that does work. So if you're building, if you're playing this game, don't build your engines first. Or we might do it later. Build a few like race engines just to keep, but. Do your cars first, and then select, you know, new engine, or then select one that you know will fit, because the last two, we did it, and then the engines didn't fit, and it was kind of a waste of time, so do your cars first, and then do your engines, and that will do it for this episode. Take it easy, guys.